Good morning, friends. Welcome to day 28 of Vlogmas and day three of Kwanzaa. Today's principle is Ujima, which is collective work and responsibility. And this principle focuses on the community as in I see you and I help you, you see me, you help me. Um, I am headed into the office feeling more tired today, but I think that's because um, late last night, like my allergies started acting up. So I took a Benadryl and I'm still Benadryled. <laughs> so, excuse me. I'm headed into the office. I'll get there by 10. And I am glad that I did a little bit of a brain dump yesterday at the end of the day, like writing things on to my to-do list so that today, I am just so burpy, so that today when I get in there, I can hopefully put my headphones on and not, um, not really come out of my office hole. Um, I'm not going to be able to work late today because Lamar's basketball team, um, he coaches girls basketball. I think, yeah, we went to one of their games at the beginning of Vlogmas, but he coaches girls basketball and they are in a tournament right now and he wants me to go to the tournament with him today or the game with him this evening. So it's like two hours away. So we're gonna, I'm gonna have to get off work like immediately um, at 4.30 so that I can be home by five o'clock so that we can go to uh, the game and he can be on time. Did I put it in yesterday's, the end of yesterday that I was working on my tank top and because the gauge that I'm working at is different, I had to basically rip out the whole front so all the way back to the sleeve split, it was probably like two days. It was definitely two days of work because I was working on that at during Christmas, on Christmas. But um, yeah, so I had to rip that back because I need to decrease at a higher rate in order to get the same uh, stitch count and look as the actual pattern calls for. I don't know, you know what, that's not true. I do know why I always do stuff like this because I don't buy the yarn that is specified for projects. I'll just go like, oh, this is a roughly X kind of weight, so I'm just gonna use this from my stash. And then I also half-heartedly gauge swatch. I mean, I gauge swatched, and then I made a judgment based on that, and my judgment was completely off again because even though I measure my body and I take you know I take my body measurements I still and I don't know how this is I still don't choose the right size it's like I look at the numbers and I'm like okay yeah but I need this bigger size so now the body like I was able to try on the body of that tank top last night and it's fitting like or like a loose pullover. <laughs> you know, I could probably switch gears and do a, like convert it to a bottom up drop shoulder situation. Am I gonna do that? I mean, I totally could. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is a good idea because then I would have just a loose fitting pullover, which I think would be much better than a loose fitting tank top especially in like the gauge, not the gauge, the weight of yarn that I'm doing. I think the fit of the tank top in this worsted weight yarn is gonna make it look frumpy. 
but if I shift gears and make it a sweater, then it goes from frumpy to cozy. And I can do a short sleeve sweater like I always do. I get really excited when I'm working on something and I have to shift gears and I have a good idea about how to shift gears. <laughs> but I have done so much gear shifting in this project because I just, you know, started almost on a whim. No, I was definitely on a whim. But I'm excited about this. I also think that I might have a pattern from years ago. There was this app or this website called Bellish. I think it was Bellish. And you it was one of those um, like pattern design websites where you chose, you know, what the item was, the stitch pattern you wanted, the size you wanted, the yarn you had, if you wanted multiple colors, like all these different options. And it would create a pattern for you. And I did a, um, I did a, I did a sponsored video with them, which was really cool. My one and only sponsored video. Um, but I really enjoyed using that tool. Unfortunately, they were only around for, I think, a bit over a year or so um, before they went under. But in the time that they were here, it was really awesome. And I think um, one of the patterns that I had created with their software was a drop shoulder sweater. So I'm going to check that because I have them all on my iPad. Um, so I'm going to check that. I am so excited about this new direction, man. You guys have just been here for all of the epiphanies. Thanks, dudes. Six hours later. Hi, friends. Well, this is the last clip that you will see in this car. My car's repairs are done, so I'm headed over to the body shop to pick up Old Faithful. Um, yeah, it was nice. It was nice driving a tall car. Like, got to step up to get in. I feel like I can see over everybody. I can survey the lands. We're here. Thank you.